Hey Magic fans, we ain't had a box open in a little while, so why not a little secret layer action? So, welcome back to the channel, this is your captain speaking here on Captain Clyde's MTG. Uh, don't forget, comment, like, subscribe, hit that like button, subscription's free, keeps us sponsor free. Um, but if you know a sham wow is hanging out, let me know, because I, I need to get a sponsorship, just saying. Um, so today, oh we're on Rumble too, don't forget to check us out. Uh, we have a secret layer drop that I got. Um, this is a secret layer creep show, the traditional foil edition. This was the only one of these that I bought. Um, and I really bought it because I love creep show. Uh, I grew up with it when I was a kid, uh, all the way through adulthood. I it was a, just an amazing genre. I mean, we really, it was a great, a great era for horror movies. And I just, it really touched that nostalgic nerve, so I wanted to buy this. Um, and what I'll do with it is I will frame this up, just like I did with my other cards after I open it. Uh, for those of you who don't know what that looks like, I did a video, but as a quick preview, I will show you uh, this one here I did. You can see there's rampant growth. They're in the cases. Um, I put the bolt in there because there's five slots and I didn't need some room for something, so... But there you have it, the nice foil, right? Put it in the nice little case. So that's where it's gonna go after I'm done. So if you guys wanna see, I'll take a picture maybe or something and put it on one of the videos as a thumbnail or I don't know, figure something out. Um, so let's get into it and take a look at this and see if this secret layer is actually worth its salt. So this is actually interesting too because this is one secret layer. The last ones I got, they had to tear down the side or a smaller strip. This is like a big strip in the middle. Like look at that. Big old middle strip. Okay, so. Ta-ha. <laughs> it's okay to be scared, they say. Oh, okay. So we have this. Is that a book? Oh, it'd be so cool if this is like a book. Okay, it's not a book. It'd be really cool if it was like a book, like you get like a like a book you put on like your shelf or something. You know, you put it on the side and you're like, oh, because oh. that does look kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie. Creep show. I might keep this case for giggles. So, all right. So, okay, okay. So it's just a sleeve, kind of like a dust thing. So, I mean, it does feel nice. So it almost feels kind of velvety. Mmm, nice. Anyway. So, Secret Lair Drop Series. There we have it. Is it? Oh, the card's on the bottom. Okay. Special card's on the bottom. We'll get to that in a minute. Oh, God. So, we have the Creep Show. It's a little warped. You guys can see that. But, I mean, nothing we can't fix with a little bending, right? So let's see what kind of card quality we got out of this. So we have first, we have our Creep Show Tales of Suspense Horror. It is the Death Baron. I kind of like too how it's got that nice little shady look in the side there. Back's also foil. Oh, oh cool, you can use both sides. Pretty nice. I gotta say, I kind of like, I'm kind of digging the art on this. This card feels good too. And it, it feels glossy, kind of like not like a real magic card, but more like a card you would get from Creep Show. I don't know if you guys remember or not, I got it right here somewhere. Uh, but there was a set of non collectible trading cards. Well, I mean, they're collectible cards, but they weren't like trading cards as far as like magic. They were just cards to collect from Creep Show and stuff, and it was really cool. And it kind of really, this kind of really harkens back to that for me. So we got a Death Baron. Good old Noxious Ghoul. Not too bad. A little 10 cents. Love it. We have the good old Zombie Master. Interesting picture to choose, but I mean, it's fine, I guess. Then in the back. We have Grim Grin, Corpse Born. That's a really good picture of him. That's actually more of a picture of actually him, him, kind of like on the background of Creep Show, which is cool. 
And then we get like the little art show of him doing stuff. That's really sweet. It feels like to me like this particular series had a lot of extra stuff done to it. Because like you get, instead of just getting this art, you know, and like a picture of this, you get all the art on the back too. And that's just really cool. And then finally we have the Unholy Grotto. Not too shabby. It's a land. Some more stuff on the back. So, all in all, not too bad. You can kind of see how they're a little bowed. I mean, nothing we can't fix with a little pressing and putting inside one of those glass cases. All right. So, what kind of special card do we get at the bottom? Ooh, we got a terror. That's kind of cool. Is this the one everybody got? That's really neat. So that gives me six. I can't display six into a five K, so I'm gonna have to figure that out. Anyway, I didn't really think the creep show would actually have a creep show uh, extra card in it. Kind of cool. So we have the creep show terror instant. Very nice. The story target non black. The story target non artifact non black creature. Boy, that brings you back, don't it? Good old terror. That's really cool. Unfortunately, it too is bowed, but I mean, what do you expect? It's Wizards of the Coast. So, six cards in total from the Creep Show series. I don't see anything special about this one. Like a signature or anything but I mean I'm just really cool with the fact that it's actually from actually has creep show on it um if you guys out there got one of these let me know uh did you get a creep did you get a terror as well is there something special nobody said anything about there being something special in this so there might not be it might just be the the terror itself um but with there being an extra card that's actually creep show themed I'm gonna have to find a case that displays six now instead of five that kind of sucks a little bit but that's okay. I got more cases like that for other secret layers. That'd be kind of cool uh, when they come out. Uh, I do have a little My Little Pony coming. Mm, so we'll get a chance to look at that when it comes in. So all in all, um, I, I think if I had to... God, I hate to even say this. The future of Magic is going to be these kind of off-brand Magic cards. Um... You know, Lord of the Rings, Fallout, secret layers based upon things like Creep Show and what have you. Um, Ixalan with dinosaurs, um, and really because they 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 did so much stuff with magic that it doesn't feel cool anymore, in my personal opinion. Um, I mean, they started doing serialized cards; that was a big hit. But a lot of the stuff that they did that could have saved the game, um, in my personal opinion, as far as not having to go this route so fast with all the universes beyond stuff, um, was the fact they made all these special cards like in Brothers War, where all the cards, were, they were serialized cards, they were schematic cards. And in my opinion, Brothers War is one of my favorite sets as far as opening for value. Um, cause even though a lot of it's not worth money, some of it is, but just the art and the cards you get out of it, ha they so much nostalgia, so much power level. It's just, it's insanely good, but the massive print run of the product has really hampered its ability to do anything. Uh, and over time that'll probably change as they slowly milk the market, um, and get the stuff out of there. But could you imagine a Brothers War, if it had a, you know, Ixalan slash Fallout style printing where it was really reduced numbers, especially with collector boxes, like, it would just be absurd. Uh, or even just the print run of Ixalan, because Ixalan's holding up very well. Uh, cards are holding their price. People want it. It's not dipping. It's starting to go back up for the collector boxes. Uh, and that's clearly because they reduced the print run. If they had the same kind of print run for Ixalan they had for Brothers War, I I think Brothers War would be a $500 box. And one day I think it very well may be. 
because it's just too good not to be, in my opinion. The problem is, due to overprinting, how long is that really going to take? So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I do appreciate it. Until next time, be kind. Hope to see you across from the game table. Later, player. Ooh, hee.